Hello, my name is Paulina Mijan. I am a psychologist and an expert in sexual health, and today I'm going to talk about thrush. There are many myths surrounding the subject, so I want to tell you the facts. I might have to use some graphic terms, so please bear with me. I'll do my best to not get too technical. What is thrush? Thrush is a very common infection that's caused by the yeast Candida albicans. Normally, the candida organisms live harmlessly in your gut and with one in five women, it also resides in the vagina. These organisms are kept in check by your immune system, good bacteria and healthy pH levels. If the conditions in your vagina start to change, these organisms will begin to multiply. Three in four women will probably experience one attack of thrush in their lifetime. What are the symptoms of thrush? The symptoms of thrush vary. The first is discomfort. You might feel a little bit itchy, sore, or sometimes slightly swollen around your labia and the entrance to your vagina. The next sign, which not all women will notice, is a whitish discharge that is generally odorless. Other symptoms you might get are an uncomfortable burning sensation when you pass urine, and pain or a burning sensation during sex. Usually, there's nothing to be concerned about if you are unlucky enough to get a thrush infection. The general advice is that if you haven't had it before and you think you might be experiencing it, you should go to your GP and get it checked out, where you'll be advised about your options for treatment. If you get it again, you'll be able to recognize the symptoms and will find several remedies available from a pharmacy. If you start suffering from regular attacks of thrush, you should ask your GP about being checked for diabetes, because people with diabetes do tend to be more prone to it. What keeps thrush away? You can't always do much to prevent an attack of thrush. However, there are plenty of things that you can do to keep infections at bay. Maintain a healthy lifestyle by exercising regularly, eating healthily and reducing your stress levels. Your immune system is one of the things that help to maintain the balance down below. So keeping that as healthy as possible will go a long way. Though thrush is not a sexually transmitted disease, the infection can be passed between you and your partner when you're having unprotected sex. Men can have it without noticing, so if you're worried, have a word with your partner and ask him to look out for any of the following symptoms of thrush. Thick, lumpy discharge under the foreskin, pain when passing urine, unpleasant odor, pain when having sex. Also, ask him to keep an eye on any redness, spots, itchiness, inflammation, irritation, and soreness around the head of the penis. If you develop thrush when you have sex with a new partner for the first time, it's wise to pay the doctor a visit just in case. If you're unlucky enough to be susceptible to thrush, opt for loose clothes and simple cotton undies. They might not be glamorous, but let's face it, neither is thrush. There can't be such a thing as too clean if you're prone to thrush. It's the sad fact of life that perfume soaps Bubble baths and vaginal deodorants can contain chemicals that change the vagina's natural acidity levels. This gives candida the ability to multiply, and before you know it, you've got an attack of thrush to contend with. Another trigger for thrush is if you've been on a course of antibiotics. You might find that you end up with a thrush infection afterwards because they kill all bacteria, including the good bacteria that normally keep your vagina healthy. So it's best to tell your doctor when you get a prescription. The natural hormonal changes that go with having periods and being pregnant can upset the normal balance of the vagina too. It's all part of being a woman. As all women are different, thrush affects us in many ways. So if you still have concerns, please visit your doctor or a pharmacist. 